Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. We have a thrift yarn shopping video today at Salvation Army. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. This is Stitch Studio by Nicole by The Fire and the color Bluebird Song. This was a AC Moore yarn. There was a ton of it here. It's pretty, but I am just not a home homespun fan. I think, honestly, there may have been like eight skeins of this, and they're 99 cents each. So here at the Salvation Army, where I go, they have colors on sale each day. This store changes their color tags on Monday. So you probably should ask at your local store if they do a color tag sale, like half off, um, when they do that. So I happened to go on a Monday, so it was when the color tags changed. I also always, unless they have them hanging from the ceiling like they do at the Salvation Army near me, this one is on a, like a board. Oh, this is Woolies Chunky. I thought about this, but I got some other stuff. If you want to see my haul video from this shopping, I will link that down below. I got some amazing luxury fibers. I made a killing. Um more homespun i usually just take a photo on my phone of the sailboard because by the time i get a couple aisles in i forget this particular one has half off two color tags and then one is 99 cents so a lot of the yarn was a pink tag um i know that the green was a new ones so i only come here like maybe once a month it's not exactly near where... I mean, it's not too far. It's like 30 minutes away. It's Jiffy! The original Jiffy. I also thought of that, but then I got other things. Hometown USA. And all these skeins I've showed you so far are 99 cents. Um, however, they don't just tag all the singles at 99 cents here, so... That just happens to be what I grabbed. Uh, curtain pattern. More Bluebird song. Homespun. More of the Bluebird song. So things I'm looking for in, in thrifted yarn. Um, A, is it clean? <laughs> is it clean? Do I mean like we don't want to invite any buggies to the party. We don't want to invite coffee stains and things of that nature. And we definitely don't want the musty, yucky smell. Now, I almost got this, but I passed. It's $1.99, which is like nothing for this yarn. It's 100% hand-dyed wool from Lithuania. But to be honest with you, this stuff was so rough. Oh, my. It was like, woof. It'll scratch your face. Super rough. So I left it. I did go back and think about it, but I left it for somebody else. I just, with the yardage that was there, I didn't think that there was anything I could really make with it. Okay, so this says knitting needles, but there is a couple of crochet hooks, but they weren't anything I was super interested in. There's a pink one that's no-name brand, and I think there was one other one in there. That little tiny one that's sticking out. Gave that a good old pass. Oh my goodness, look at that zoo fabric. I didn't even notice that when I was in the store. What is that elephant doing? I, Jiminy Cricket, I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so this store, like I said, I take a picture of the thing when I go in. What am I looking for in Thrifted Yarn? No buggies to the party, no stains. Also, honestly, if it's in a bag and I am like thinking about buying it, don't come at me, but I poke a little hole and stick my nose in there because I need to know if it's moldy smelling. Uh, for two reasons. One, yuck. Two, mold is my worst allergy. Well, not my worst. My worst allergy is bunnies. Um, my second worst allergy is mold. So I can't even have that in the house. So keep that in mind. The brown homespun with a older label. Hot buy! Oh, 99 cents. <laughs> Just kidding. Here was an older skein of Red Heart Super Saver because it was scratchy AF. Um, 
what else am I looking for? The second thing I'm looking for is fiber content. Some of my favorite stuff to find. Okay, this was 70 rayon, 30 cotton. It's by Crystal Palace Yarns, which I have seen Crystal from Bag o Day haul before. It's only 105 yards. I definitely put this in my cart and thought about it. But in the end, I ended up passing. You'll see why if you watch my haul video, which again, I'll link down below. Um, oh, cotton fleece. 80 cotton, 20 merino wool. This is by the Brown Sheep Company out of Nebraska, made in the USA. I also thought about this one. So you'll see me throw it in my cart. <laughs> um, oof. Lion brand chenille. Lion chenille. Not a fan of the chenille yarn over here. Personal opinion. Um, looking for fiber content. So high-end fibers that I wouldn't normally be able to get a hold of. This is some swanky Fezza yarn that I'm sure was very expensive at the LIS that is like a very long eyelash. There was quite a bit of it here. Oh boy. The Serta Illusion. Well, I'm going to be touching a yarn here that I'm regretting in a second. Um, <clears throat> remember I just said that rabbits were my worst allergy? Those are drinking straws. I thought for a second they were like crochet hooks, but they're not. Let's see. There was a bunch of these, uh, black, what is this called? Boulevard Yarns Blackstone, 100% oral on acrylic. When you see oral on acrylic, that usually means 60s, 70s yarn, maybe early 80s. Um, this yarn wasn't in the best condition, though. Some of it was faded. So, $2.49, I put that back. Some more artsy yarns. Ooh. This is Zen something by Barocco. It was very soft. A very fun, fun for a type, but very long. Different brand than the white. I'm looking for fiber content. I want high-end fiber. That's where I want to get, hopefully, some Pleasant Yarn by Barocco. Oh, sorry. Pleasure Yarn. My bad. 60 Angora, 29 Merino Wool, 5 Nylon. I can 100% tell you that that is Rabbit Angora. That is not Goat Angora because... Oh my god, did I have such the worst allergic reaction in the store. My hands were all red. I got hives. I was having an asthma attack. I know it was from that yarn because it was right after I picked it up. I started feeling itchy and I was like, put the Angora down. That's a bunny. I wish they put where Angora came from on the label because it's indiscriminate in the fiber world. 90% of the time, it's from a goat. But I swear, especially at an LYS, I ask, but I can't ask here. I'm just like, ugh. Okay, that seed yarn is really pretty. So is that pink um, crochet thread, but not for $2.99. Mm, these look like acrylic scrap balls. This one is also scrap balls there was some pretty colors in there but i just didn't love the whole thing so i put it back because i think it was three dollars or something like that oh then i'm getting that shirt that was very nice and light and summery and it was half off yay 3.99 oof put that back put that back him Crochet thread, two for $1.99. I'm here over another section. Dude, this store has yarn in like four different areas. So look around. Uh, that is Lion Brand. What yarn is that? I can't remember. Hello. How are you? Watch my haul video if you want to see how much of an amazing deal this was. Ha ha ha. I'm looking for fiber content. I'm looking for things that. After having, like, been in the yarny world for a while, 
you can kind of tell when it's a higher fiber and I can pretty much definitely tell when something is hand dyed. I'm looking for the LYS gem, basically. I want that luxurious stuff, but I don't want to pay the big buckos. This was $3.99 and I'm not sure why. They tend to price blanket yarn pretty high from what I've seen. Okay, Barocco Light. Oh, sorry, Remix Light. This is pretty. However, I had to say, Self, you have a bunch of um, mill ends of this at home because of some of the hauls I did at the reuse store I used to shop at. And I said, put it back. You want the other stuff more. I think that was a good decision. I think there was three skeins, but I got the other stuff. I was trying to keep myself to a under $10 fun budget. <laughs> for my just for like yarny crafty things so keep that in mind this is brunswick this is an older yarn um something super wash emu wools made in england it's not emu because emu has feathers <laughs> this was pretty thought about this one 99 cents 100 percent cotton isn't that pretty why did I put that back? I should have bought that. Made in Italy. Mm. I should have bought that blue ball. I'm, I'm having shopping regret right now. Oh, that's the reason I didn't buy it. I remember why I didn't buy it now. There's a dead buggy boo on that one. I was like, put it back. Nope. Somebody made face scrubbies and donated them. It's not very sweet of them. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Reggio Sock Yarn. That is a nice find. I like Reggio stuff. I like the colors with the purple and the dark. Oh, yeah. That was... I had to wind that back up. Bernat Worsted for $3.99. I mean, there's a lot of yardage on this ball, but I'm not feeling the color personally. That's my personal opinion on life. 100% acrylic. Seven, 837 yards. There is a lot of yardage in that ball. But again, if it was a different color, I probably would have gotten it. Knit picks, Swish Worsted. Really tiny skein. Really small. And it felt like some of that was used. It was like half a ball. That one's full. You can see the difference in size. People just throw stuff here because it's right near the changing room. Oh, there's more of that blue bird, blue song that's in the back. They just have so much of that here. Again, 99 cents. More Brunswick Sport. Uh, hometown USA. So it's the same color as the ball that's in the back, but they're separate. They're in totally, they're diagonally different front back areas of the store. Excuse me while I roll this up. Because I have to. Because ah, I have to. Classic Elite American Wool. Faded. Very faded. Very rough. Very, very rough. I should make a video of my thrift yarn shopping tips. Put that on my list of things to do. More nitpick swish worsted. Not for 99 cents, friends. See? $3.99 on the Bernat blanket. They they tend to mark the Bernat the blanket yarn high. I think maybe because they just say big skein. And they think mark this more. I don't know. Not really what I'm looking for. I'm not a blanket yarn fan. This Woolies was a nice color. But again, I made other choices. I know I don't have anything in stash that matches that, even remotely close. I don't have a lot of browns. My favorite neutral color is gray. What else do we have here? So yeah, make sure you check out that um, haul video that goes along with the shopping down below. And I did end up picking up this book. It's super funny. It's Raining Cats and Dogs Jokes.
Very funny, very cheesy. My kids are going to love it. What's your best thrifting yarn haul you've ever gotten? If you're into this, check out Claire at Woodshed Theory. She also does a lot of thrifting yarn hauls. And if you are so inclined, ooh, Nicole Stitch Studio Sunrise. This looks like a dupe of Jiffy. I almost got this too, but then I ended up putting it back. The Jiffy color I have at home is um that mustard color. I just didn't think they'd go together. Uh, I'm trying to be more conscious of what I'm buying. Um, if you're so inclined, I do have memberships active down below. You can hit that join button. My members' lives are on Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. You also can catch me live with my yarny bestie, Ginger from Yarn Geek, um, on Saturdays on my channel from 8 to 11 a.m. Eastern, and Wednesdays on her channel, The Yarn Geek, from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern. We are coming up on our two-year anniversary for Wednesdays and our three-year anniversary uh, in a couple months on Saturdays, so come and check us out. And please like, share, and subscribe. Happy bargain hunting. And what is that, loop yarn? I don't know. Ugh. Loop yarn, I hate loop yarn. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.